All right, I found a really cute dress, but it's a little off season now, but I don't care. I'm gonna make it. I don't think any of these glasses is going to look good. Get rid of them. I think you can unmod Zambot and it might be. Yeah, I don't. Can you do that? Or do I have to do that? Uh, I can probably. Well, not right now. Okay. So she will come on. And sadly, I have to save over my last two because I have no room, but that's okay. As they're out there and I can Put them in whenever I want. So I guess we'll get rid of this one. Even though it's like my favorite. So cute. Um, this one is a little bit of everything. Not pastel -y though. I was trying to look for the, a good green. That one almost looks right. I wish there was some way to reset the palettes back to default. But I think that is the default one. Eh, we'll just go with this. Hello, Buzzy Bee! Alright, this is a monstrosity now. So, I'm gonna do... Actually, there's like two different greens that I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need a lighter one and a darker one. That one's pretty dark. Though. I think maybe we'll try this one. Mm, that's really dark, but I think that might be too light. We'll try these two and see where it goes. Okay, sleeves are really simple, assuming I get the right colors. That one's way too dark. <laughs> Let me see. Um, it's just a little bit darker. That one's like the same color. I'll try this for now. Hello, Waymoot. You're playing AC New Leaf? Ugh, I can't ever say it. When I see it out, it's like it doesn't compute to to coming out right <laughs> of my mouth. Um, I've been playing New Leaf a lot. I think my town is almost ready for people to visit. I just have to put a couple more things away. And it's not 100% because my rooms kind of suck in a couple houses, but... Alright, so... We want your left sleeve. One, two, three. Let's go four up with white. Oh, not like that. And then there's a couple different blues, so I think there are three different blues, but they're not like this, so I'm wondering if I should just leave it like this and then change it later. I think that's going to be the plan. Hello, Fang Lightwind! So this uses, I think, the two... Maybe there's only two blues. I'm trying to double check. The one around the neck. Almost looks darker than the rest, but almost doesn't. It's hard to tell. So I'm just gonna do two for here. And this is not the right blue, I'm just gonna use it for now. And I am making a Christmas dress, and I know it's no longer Christmas, but this thing is so cute, I couldn't help it.
You love the clothes designing streams? I'm glad. I, th I think they're really fun to do. A little boring maybe to watch, but... Um, that's only partially, right? Um, so this goes like... Oh, that's way dark. We'll figure it out. Not right now. I'll just get the pattern down now and worry about the finesse later. That's the easiest way. So we'll make happy little sleeves. Oh, it's good to know I'm doing things without knowing it. Wait, wait. Did we go down one too low? We did go down one too low because I need... Yep, okay. Moving right along. It's like a little waltz. I am turning into Bob Ross in my old age. Three. Okay, so this goes up here, not down there. the dark one in here. And I promise I'll fix it. It doesn't look too bad, but the blues are a little off. Hello, sweetie Chew. Welcome back. And the green is a little bit too dark, but meh. Two, three, four of these. Oh, the, the leaving thing, don't worry about that. That was um, trying to get rid of a moderator thing that I didn't want to use. So nobody is actually leaving except a bot. Unless somebody's leaving. I don't make better clothes than you, sweetie Chew. The whoever designed this in the magazine made better clothes, maybe. I couldn't design my way out of a paper bag. But maybe if you guys watch this, you'll get ideas on how to do stuff. So there's that. All right, sleeves are done. So I need two different grays, actually three, because there's no actual black. So let's go with lighter gray there, a pretty dark gray there, and Maybe we'll move that down one or two. I'm gonna do one, two, three, four, five rows of white. Got some little ruffles on the bottom. Alright, this is the lighter one on top. And then the dark one in. We skip one, two, three. No, four. Two, four, and then go. And then we skip three just to keep me on my toes.
and four in this side. I think they take into account the way the dress folds and stuff, which is nice. That might should be one shade darker like it was. There we go. One, three, one. So it makes it look like a little lace pattern. How many dresses come in the magazine? Um, it varies between the magazines. Like, as New Leaf got older, they did like a little bit fewer and a little bit fewer, but in this one, let me count. So I'm doing one from an older one. This is from the 2014 Winter Edition. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, ah, lost count. One, twelve, thirteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20 dresses, and then they have 1, 2, 3, 4 regular patterns, and then they had some path patterns in this one as well. They don't give you as many of the, um, of the little uh, blocks to do it yourself with the path, they just give you like the main one. So they have a bunch of edges and corners and stuff too. They used to have a bunch of um, like baseboard cutouts and they used to give you town tunes. It's changed a lot um, in the last few years because I started getting the magazine I think in 2012. Right, that should be the lacy bottom. Sounds funny to say. And now I need a pink and a darker red. So there's no orange in this. I'm going to commandeer that. There's actually no skin tone either, so maybe I'll use both of these. I'm going to try this pink. I don't know if it's going to work. And then that's probably the dark red. Actually, I'm going to do this all as a white background first and then switch it up because it's a pattern here. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 rows of white, even though it's mostly red. It makes an easier base than the green because there's no green in this section. Fourteen, fifteen. All right, so there's a little bit of white up here. I'll do it later. And let's try this. And we put the pink over here.
One goes right there. Okay. Trying to see, alright. That goes straight here. And then through here. Makes a little diamond pattern, it's really cute. What have you missed? Not much. Just a couple sleeves. This goes right up here. It's like puzzle pieces. Christmas dress. I know I'm off season, but I was looking through the magazine and I've never made this dress and I just thought it was too cute not to make. So since it's um always Christmas at I think it's Daisy's house, I decided I'm gonna make it and go over there. So this one has a little snowflake on the back and it's got two snowflakes and a reindeer on the front. It's really cute. I thought about taking pictures of the few um, dresses that I was thinking about doing and having you guys vote, but I didn't know if anybody would show up, so I just decided to dive in. Some of the dresses in the magazine are definitely cuter than others. Some of them are a little, like, weird, and I'm, I don't see what's going on with them. They just kind of confuse me. Alright. Okay. Alright, so far so good, I think. Let me make sure. One, three, four, two, yep. Okay, so we got our white parts in there, right? This is from the Pico Pre magazine. It's a Japanese magazine um, aimed towards, I think, preteen girls, littler, littler girls, and it's a video game magazine. It's got a lot of Animal Crossing in it, and um, it comes with a design book every, well, not every month because it's not a monthly publication. They keep changing how frequently it comes out. It used to come out every other month, and then it went to like four times a year, and I don't know what its current publication is since Happy Home Designer came out because they missed their last publication date and it came out a month late.
you are like that. One, two, three, four. I was like, oh no, I'm one off, but I'm not. Thank God. I do whatever dresses are in the books, and they don't actually have a lot of purple dresses. You've done pellet swaps, have you, before? Yeah, but not too often. Like, there was one that's on my blog that was a little horse dress, and I did a pallet swap and put a horn on it and made it a Julian dress. But I don't usually change them much, so I don't change the colors often and stuff. I'm not that brave. But it was a horse dress, so it was begging to be a Julian dress. Oh, speaking of Julian, well, not really. Speaking of Marshall, my cards have shipped out from Tenso, and they are, like, on their way. I haven't stopped them today, so I don't know if they're... All day yesterday they said they were in Tokyo, so I don't know if they've left Tokyo yet. My Series 3 cards. So excited. And somehow this all comes together and makes a cute little pattern, but right now, like, looking at it on paper, you would never guess. Uh, the magazine does have a really pretty yellow dress. I was actually looking at one today, thinking of making it. Maybe I'll do it next. I'll probably do two. I don't know if I can sit for longer than two. Alright, so just got to fill in the middle right here. But they come with all sorts of dresses, anything you can imagine. They have one with a, the giant, oh, what's the giant like blue eel thing that recently washed up uh, on the shore? They have a dress with that on it. They have a dress with chestnuts on it. They have all sorts of weird dresses. There was a really cute kitty dress that I was thinking about making. It's a kitty sweater dress. I think we're done with the bottom. Yep, okay. That looks like the bottom of the back. Oh, cute. So 
Oh, I definitely need to change the greens again, but I'll get there. Okay, so this like the little waist. I don't know if it's a belt or what. Oh, there's I think there's three greens because this is dark and the others are lighter. All right, there's no yellow in this, so I'm gonna steal the yellow and put. Okay, which one are you? You're that one. You're now gonna be that one. You're gonna be. Well, you'll we'll keep you as that one, and we'll put you as that one. All right, because I need a slightly darker one, but not as dark as that one. But that one's still too dark. Well, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Good. I'm gonna go to the top. And one, two, let's try three rows of white. There's a little more than that, but. Alrighty. So anything that's there is white, just above that blue. And now I have a slight conundrum because I can't tell if this is darker. It looks like it's darker, but it could be the same color as the blue. It's on white instead of on green, so it's hard to tell if it's actually different or not. One, five, six. So I'm going to do the darker color, but I don't know. It might not work. And anyway, the blue is definitely wrong. But I will tweak that later. I think I saw that one, Mr. B. I'll have to look. Or if I did, I did not notice that he was wearing the dress. I remember seeing him in a straw hat, but I don't remember seeing him in a dress. So, seems like Marshall has Julian tendencies. One, two, three. So that's, I think, four down. One. 
It's really hard to count the uh, squares on green because the gray kind of disappears into it. So the, the Pico Pre magazine doesn't usually have many boys' styles in it. Every once in a while they'll do a jacket or something, um, but it's mostly dresses. They used to do like a bunch of sweaters and stuff at the end, and I haven't seen many of those lately. Okay, are we done? I think we're done back here. Colors be damned. Do the same thing in the front with the three lines of white. Thank you. Pattern goes a little wonky here because there's a rain or a reindeer. A rainbow.
post a picture of the dress you just made, Sweetie Chew. See, what about the colors for the reindeer? It's definitely a light brown. Let's see, what do we have for light brown? Almost. Mm, it's more like a sandy color. That's too yellow, I think. That's kind of bleh. Hmm. Hmm. I don't think that's right, but I'm going to use it for a second. brown. He's got some reddish bits as well. And I'm thinking the only way he has reddish bits, I don't think they're that. Although you never really know. It looks way too bright. So that would mean that there's really only two blues because I have no other space for colors. I'm okay with that. So I'll go change the blue on the back and change this to something like that. Actually this brown doesn't look bad for him. Do this one. one, two, three, four, five. Change that. Maybe we'll do the snowflakes now. Let me look at your dress. 
Oh, that's really cute. I think you did good. Hello, Scorpion the Demon. Snowflake, uh, 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 thank you. And the colors are a little off on the dress, I think, but oh, I'm working on it. By the way, it is not an original design. It is from a magazine. I am just using the pattern. I should probably put that as a disclaimer. I think we got our, um, it's from an Animal Crossing magazine, more or less. It's from a Japanese magazine called Pico Pri. Got, it's a little girls magazine that has uh, video games in it that girls would like, so a lot of Animal Crossing stuff. Um, the, the town cleaning up in New Leaf is going quite well, and I'm almost done. I just have a couple accessories to put away, and town's not 100%, but... It's about 85%, so people could probably come over at that level of messiness. One, two, three, four, five, so yep, six. I really need to get Flurry wearing something different. She's so adorable and she's like, where's the ugliest clothes? If anybody's interested in coming over to my town probably later this evening, I might do that. I can tweet about it. Gotta delete some people because my friend list thingy is full, but I haven't played with anyone in so long, it doesn't really matter. Ooh, I bet a Jabanyan flag would be really cute. They have a, a Jabanyan uh, case for the 3DS at Toys R Us, and every time I go there I'm like, oh, it's so cute, I want it, but I don't really need another case.
All right, lacy bottom is done. Sounds funny. Now to do the check pattern and then fix the colors and we'll be all done with this one. Oops, let me do white so that's just easy. I can just leave the white alone. Let's see, how far up should I go? Probably up there. With one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay, still fifteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ish, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. You're taking old wild world patterns and redesigning them? That's cool. I don't have too many um, patterns on wild world that I remember. I didn't really start trying to do these until New Leaf and when I got the magazine and like patterns everywhere. I have no room on, um, on a lot of my characters. And uh, I was I was doing these uh, big dresses on my U.S. New Leaf game, and it started crashing in the middle of it. So I was afraid to do the dresses anymore. I'd have to do a little bit, then save, and then do a little bit and save, because it's really, really frustrating when it crashes after you've been doing this for like two hours. Post a link to the flag. I'd like to see it. Wait a minute. One, two, three. Yep, that's good. Okay. So the only problem with my New Life game is that my time is off because I wanted to work on it during the day. So now it's really several hours behind. And um, I don't want to change my time right now because uh, when I change my time it won't let me do the the challenge for the pick rights on uh, Pokemon Pick Cross because it detects my time has changed. I don't know when I'm going to turn it back. funny. Supposed to be a one. And that's supposed to be a two. I think I did that one too low or something. Two. One, two, three, four. So it is four up. It goes like that. Two, three, two, one. Yep. Okay. There we go. So...
Is making dresses hard? Uh, I don't think it's really hard. It's time consuming and you have to have a lot of attention to detail. But I mean, like I said, I'm working from a pattern. I'm not making it from scratch. Uh, I think making it from scratch is probably terribly difficult. But the hardest part on this is making sure you have the right colors. Which I don't, but that's pretty easy to fix. I don't know what time it is in my New Leaf Town. It's still in April, but it's I have to look. It's just several hours behind, because I was playing at like 10 last night, and I think it was like 2 in the afternoon, so... But the cherry blossoms are still falling, it's still really pretty. It's my favorite time of year. And if anybody is still keeping gyroids or has spares, I should totally post a list of the 11 I'm missing and see if anyone will help me. try to make anything from scratch in New Leaf, it comes out sucky too. I'm not an artist. I'm, I'm really good at following instructions and recipes and stuff like that, but not so original. And I totally found a cute dress that I wanted my uh, my new character in New Leaf to wear, and then I realized she didn't have the sewing machine yet. So I have to schmooze with Sable, who currently hates me. I actually don't have any bots in the channel right now. I, I'm not a big fan of blocking links because there's a lot of sharing in this game. Can look at that one sec. Oh, that's really cute. I like that. I think Sable's just a workaholic and she doesn't want to take time away from her work to help mere mortals. I don't know. been doing what I think I've been doing. I've been looking at the back pattern for this and this is totally different. I'm about to use an expletive. Okay, so that part's right. 
That's why I was all screwed up over here, because I was looking at the wrong one. So it does go like that, and then it's one, two, three. So maybe this is salvageable. Two, one. We'll find out. So it's like that instead. That has that. And this one gets... drastically different. Oh, I remember uh, looking at a site like that that gave you the grid for everything. Um, I think I used it back like with city folk and stuff. To make like Pikachu patterns and stuff like that. Okay, I think we're not as bad off as I thought. Maybe. So from here we go to here. All right, it looks like just the top got screwed up a little. do that so I don't have more of a problem later. Alright. This is kind of a labor-intensive dress. done now. So I finally bit the bullet and have um, four characters in my New Leaf Town so I can't soft reset for plots anymore. And I figured that was probably okay, because I haven't been really playing much, and I don't intend to have anybody move in and move out. I still have some people in my town that I really wouldn't mind if they leave after I get their picture, but so far they're not coughing it up, like Aurora and Elvis and Grizzly. 
But I think I'd have to play a bunch more to get them to finally give it over. Alright, are we done? At least with this part, I think we are. Alright. Yep. Now let me fill this in. Oh, there's a little pink dot here. have I been studying Japanese? Um, I've been studying since around 2009, but I haven't been like studying, studying every day. Um, so it's not a constant study. Um, and I did, when New Leaf came out was what, 2012? And I did okay with it then. I still don't have a hundred percent grasp on everything they say, but Uh, my motto with Japanese is kind of, you gotta, if you want to study for a certain reason, like to play video games or play Animal Crossing, you kind of got to do it before you think you're ready and just jump in with both feet. It really does help if you have something that you want to do with it, like either watch anime or read manga or play games, and you definitely got to jump in before you think you're ready. So, let me see, what do I want to do with the blue or the green? I almost think the green's alright, but I think that one's still way too dark. It's supposed to be dark, but... That's just like a shade darker than that, which isn't bad. And then the blue, this one really looks like it's supposed to be more like that. And this one is supposed to be more like that, but eh, that needs to be brighter, but not that bright. That looks very wintry. That's too gray. It needs to have a little bit of contrast. If you're looking for books for uh, Japanese, I recommend the Genki textbooks. Those ones are really good. I'm trying to think. I think this is pretty good. I think we'll let it go at this. Alright, so this one is called a Christmas party. The dress, that is. Let's do it in Kana. Urisumasu. Uh, no, it's hard to do party on this one, because... Will it let me do a little teeny one? Oh, it does. It's hard to get that um, character out. Christmas party, because it's not a default. It wants to use cheat instead of teat. Alright, so I'm gonna run over to Daisy's house and model this. Let me print it out first. Unless Daisy's house sucks, in which case I'll go somewhere else. And I'll put these up on Twitter after I stream.
Oh, that looks like it'll be perfect. So it has you wearing the Santa hat, which um, my Santa hat should be on, but it's still keeping my little poncho thing on. And then brown stockings. Obviously, these are just suggestions. Those kind of match the reindeer. And then snow boots. Turn the lights on. And Daisy, you're gonna wear it with me. Even though it's probably gonna get deleted next week. Oh, you know what? Can you wear the Santa hat? I don't know if she can. You can wear that one. Oh, you can wear the Santa hat. There you go. Alright, we're gonna be twinsies. enough room for both of us to stand here. I should remodel her house soon. But you can't see the reindeer when I do that pose. Oh, but you can see it on her. Oh, now she's gonna tambourine. She's like, work it! in the chair. <laughs> I'm stuck. I wanted to get like the shoes in there too. So let's try again. All right, we'll see. I'll probably post a, a couple of pictures. I'm totally making one more dress. Uh, did you have something you need me for? Uh, no, I'm just saying hi. So she's happy that I came all the way to see her. She says, um, stay as long as you like. Yo? And just like that, I look back like, <laughs> like my work self. I hate coming outside in the snow or the rain. I don't see you. set this down for a second and look through my book and see what else I might want to do. There's the little cat sweater dress. It's a possibility. Another little winter dress. I think I did that one already. There's one that's kind of purpley with a little scarf that's pretty cute. Oh, here's the other yellow one that was really cute. It was... Mm, my white food dress. I don't know what hoipu is. I wonder if I look it up if it'll tell me if it's slang. I bet it's slang. Huh? Yeah. I've never heard of it before, which doesn't necessarily mean anything, but... 
Oh, it says a whipped cream or whipping. So it has, I guess it could be whipped cream. It's yellow and it's got little dots on it that look like they could be candy. You, um, there's no card for the 7-Eleven horse. You have to get him from the Nintendo Zone. I don't know if he's going to come around again. Um, but if you missed him, you can have a friend save his item or her items onto a card and get them that way. They might be redoing him because currently if you missed Louie, he's available right now. So I'll try and make this little dress. I don't know if it's going to work out well. It's... It's orange and it's kind of an orangey yellow with little purple bows and it's got little weird creamy sleeves. I don't know. We'll see. I'm not so good with the yellows. So let's make a pro design. I don't know where I'm going to go to show this one off. It's got short sleeves. Where's my other dress? Bye, little purple kimono. Alright, so I need a yellowy color palette. Do they have a yellowy color palette? No, okay. So this is gonna be all on my own. I guess we'll leave it with this one. And then... So the base of the dress is mostly like a really light orange. Let me try... I don't think it's that though. It might be that one. I think that's right. The sleeves are like yellow, but... It'll be cute. Assuming I can do it. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to get rid of this, just do the colors as they come. So this is a super light yellow for the sleeves. Alright, there is a blue color, so I'm going to leave the light one there. And then I need a little bit darker yellow, but still kind of the yellowy green. Maybe I'll put it there. Oh, I do that every time. I'm just going to go all the way across, I think, and then sort it out. even one shade darker than that, which is like a greeny one. I don't think it's that dark though. I'm wondering. No, that's it. That's a white. That's totally can't, I don't think, be it. Or could it? Yeah, that doesn't even look like yellow. But you know what? So, I'm, I'm getting help with this. Does this look like it could be the, the white here, which is not actually white, but a yellow white? With this being this color, so and this... So, there's green, light green, orange, and then that kind of looks like the off-white or white. This one? Yeah, the stuff in the middle. Yeah, because this is not... So here's what I have to work with. I originally had it being this color. Mm -hmm which is the, the yellow. Yeah. But I think that this color is maybe this, and this color that I have up here is actually the darker one. Yeah, it could be. But if you notice, like, around all the blues, there's the little light greenish color, the light yellow. Which I think is this. Yeah. Because this is that one, which looks more like that. Yeah, and then it's, like, off-white. 
Yeah, so, so I think, think it yellow. is this yeah, one. Yeah, I think it is. All right, so we're gonna try this again. Sometimes I need a little help with the colors because they're funky. Yeah, that does have a little bit of a yellowy tinge, so I think that's right. All right, so let's try again. Because it is supposed to be like a whipped cream type thing. Although I've never seen yellow whipped cream. And then let's go. That looks more right. And then that is an orange. I think it. Mm, I think it's this one. Whoops. It might be that one. I think it's that one. <laughs> I'm so indecisive when I start. It's so hard. Alright, down at the bottom. We need a pink. So let me throw a pink in here. It's like my go-to pink. I don't know if it's the right one, but... It looks about right. This is, is this the left sleeve? Yes, it's the left sleeve. And then that gets outlined in the light yellow. One, two, three. One, two. And we got a couple little squares here. This is a purple. I want to say it's more like this purple, but I think it's a little bit lighter. And that is it for sleeve number one. to sleeve number two. I just realized they don't have like the middle bar on the sleeve, so it's hard to tell if you're in the right spot or not.
I'm gonna pretend those are sprinkles. I don't know what the heck they are, but... dress so I'm gonna get rid of this one and make it dark orange wait we already have the dark orange never mind that's gonna go here I just do just go press with this and then dot it there is such a thing but I think that would be the lighter orange and is it eh? actually it could be that I'm gonna try that because I think it's that color and then that color The fourth one up from the bottom is this color. One, two, three, four. We go three, skip one, four, skip one, four. Alrighty, and a couple little colors sneaking in here, so a little dash of purple, not too many colors here, mostly. I need to go change the sleeves where I had the orange, because it's definitely this orange. Oh wait, that's pink. Alright, so 
I'm gonna just do the bottom because I think it'll be easier. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do this right, and we got no, no, I did not. Oh, I started it in the middle, that's the problem. All right, let's just redo this. I needed to start it on the left, and like something doesn't look right. Nope, I am not designing houses at all today. Today's just, just dresses. Also, um, chat's kind of gone off on its own, so if you are talking to me, please use uh, my handle in there, because I probably won't see it. houses tomorrow morning at my normal time unless we end up back at the doctor which I don't think we will so far so good Say sprinkled cookies, like those little frosted ones that had the sprinkles in them. Right. Uh... No, we're not quitting. We were hitting that button. Uh, is the hole in Doomsayer getting any better? He shrugged. We really don't know. There is a hole, though. There is a hole. There is a hole. Mm -hmm. Ain't that doomsayer? Ugliest hole that I ever did see. Mm. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to go across with the white because it's mostly white with some fill in. Although it's not white, it's like off white. I don't know what color that's supposed to be, but I just felt like filling it in. So let's see, we're on the third one. One, two, it has a big old line going up here. One, five, six. Would you scream and do a quiet poo in your pants if Doomsayer had the nerve to put a pic of his hole on social media? You might. Negative. He's, that's my hole. Yeah, he, he's not going to, but... Um, I think that that's pretty gross. It's not for the squeamish, that's for sure. So, if you're confused about this con conversation, my husband had an appendectomy uh, December 30th. And it's not healing well, and one of his incisions is now like a hole, and, literally, and we have to pack it with gauze twice a day, it is not fun. It's less fun for him than for me, but there's been tears on both sides over this. Pain was real. When the doctor was packing it on three days ago, four days ago, he was just jamming it in there. And I was yelling for him to stop. That's how bad it hurt. And when I say yelling, I don't mean like figuratively. I mean literal yells. Yeah, it was it was not fun in the doctor's office that day. Oh, it's not applying bandages. It is literally poking the bandage into the hole. Applying the bandage, I'd be okay. But it's, I'm, I'm not a nurse. I never studied to be a nurse. I never aspired to be a nurse. I don't have nursing skills. And the doctor didn't tell really well how to do this. So it's not something that you really want to figure out on your own. And I'm sorry if the um, if the conversation is a little gross. <laughs> you can tell me to shut up. So um, we have to pack the wound with gauze that's soaked in normal saline so that it dries it out a little bit and so it can heal from the inside out so it's not stitched up or anything So, because otherwise like fluid could build up underneath it and it would be bad. And do not, do not look up, look this up on YouTube. I tried because I'm like, everything's on YouTube. I can learn how to pack a wound on YouTube. But all the wounds on YouTube are huge. And like, I looked at one with a belly button and they were pulling stuff out of that. It was like a magician pulling scarves out. It was, oh, oh. <laughs> Yeah, that doesn't sound fun either, Mr. B. I've fortunately, knock on whatever, never had anything like this happen to me. I've been relatively healthy. I've never broken a bone. And this is all new to me. 
Okay. Well, above the blue I go one, two, then left is orange. And we've got some more yellow over there. This part's where the little bows are supposed to go. Just above this. More power to you being a doctor when you grow up, sweetie Chew. Just get some good bedside manner. I think the dude who manhandled me on the last time I was in there, like, had parental issues and they were very strict. Hmm. Well, he had, he was, he was nice about it. I mean, it, he had to get it done. Yeah. The scar buddy, Mr. B. Yeah, I keep telling him, no more bikinis for him. There's a blue one over here somewhere. Wait, I missed the yellow one. There's yellow right bank there. Yeah, that looks right. So the only surgery that I have ever had was to get my wisdom teeth out. And that's the only time to my knowledge I've been knocked out. And I just remember waking up in the parking lot in a wheelchair with my mother trying to get me in the car and cussing profusely. Like, the first thing I did was just start cussing, like, Where the F am I? What the F is going on? That's about all I remember from that. That's actually one more down. Let me see. Where are you, Pinky? Right there. You've had your tonsils, adenoids, and appendix out. You've been through the ringer as well. I've never had any of those things out. I'm. So, I had my tonsils out when I was 20 something. But my tonsils were in such bad shape that I still had my adenoids. They've been, uh, like, kind of working too hard, and I still had my adenoids when I got my tonsils out, too. So, same. Oh, that sounds terrible, Mr. B. What's that? Garlic burrito? No. Oh, yeah, that's bad. Wait a minute. You, no, you're not. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Hmm. Should just put the bow in. It would make all this easier. I think the worst I've ever done is like twist my ankle and have, well, I had tendonitis in my shoulder. That was terrible, but I've never had to have like any sort of operation or anything.
Okay, so you are one, two, three, four, five, six, which I've got here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then you're capped off by some green. And then we've got three more yellow. What am I making? I am making a um, little yellowish, orangish whipped cream dress. It's got a it's got a brown bow with a pink heart in it on the front. It laces up in the front. It's really cute, but I'm working on the back right now, so it doesn't really look like much yet. It's got three little purple bows on the back, but I haven't gotten to them yet either. <sighs> okay. Um, oh, are you gonna make lunch for me too? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah, it's 3.30, we haven't had lunch yet. I haven't even had my snack, I'm getting pretty hungry. We didn't get up till late today. Oh, Mr. B, did you see the link I posted my mom, uh, with my mom on TV in San Diego? They've got it up on the web right now. I have to figure out how to save it for her. She's going to be at that cat show next week, the one that they're talking about. She goes to all sorts of cat shows. Mm, not really all over the country, more in the... She goes all over California and she goes to like Arizona and Nevada sometimes, but every once in a while she goes to like awards banquets and all over the country and stuff like that. I think they should do a reality show on the cat shows. I think it'd be funny. There's so much drama there. I can post it again if anybody is really curious. Let me see. I can find it. Copy link. Day it's in there, it's in the folder. Okay. I think that should open it. It's in the folder on the left hand side. So that's a link, if it works, to um to the San Diego show that had they were interviewing people or just showing the kitties from the cat show for next weekend. And my mom is the second one from the last. She has the, um, the silvery kitty, Diamond Jr., who looks like the fancy beast cat. Collars and catnip. Um, my mom breeds Persian cats. She is a crazy cat lady incarnate. I've never seen the kitty that looks like a tiger. He's pretty awesome.
All right, let me fill in this section and then we're on to the front. No, she is not the type to leave her entire will and well to all her kitties. And I know this because when she came up for Christmas, she bought her will up here for changing. Although I did tell her she should probably think of somebody to leave her cats too because they're kind of worth some money. I like to tell Sophie that she's, um, she's a $6,000 cat because when she got sick, that's pretty much how much it costs to get her better. We don't have any? So oh, far, that's fine. I'm down with whatever. just got to fill in a little bit more of the yellow. You made a school jacket? Okay, time for me to take a peek. Yeah, her cats aren't really $6,000 usually. They're a little bit less than that, but Sophie was, she got really, really sick a little over a year ago, almost two years now. Probably about a year and a half. That's really cute, sweetie Chew. And they didn't know what the heck was wrong with the cat, and then uh, she had uh, laryngitis. We don't know what caused it, but she had so many tests and stuff run, and she had to stay over at the emergency place, and yeah, it was an ordeal. I thought I was going to lose her. Persians are not known for their good immune systems. Missing a pink one. Actually, the pink is one one higher. And I think that's done with the back. she has are, are not fixed because she's she mostly has cats for breeding and then when she gets them fixed or retires them then she sells them not for as much obviously trying to see if I missed anything I think this is pretty much good oh that's one over I think it's there the orange should be one over so nitpicky, like anybody would notice. There's blue, orange, okay, I think we're good. This should be it for the back, now I'm gonna go on to the front. And I'll start at the bottom, she says. No, I'm like, there's another pink there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Thank you. 
You have a lot of cats, Scorpion the Demon. I just have one. I have vowed to never have more than two. I had two, but my poor kitty, my other one, was old and she had a stroke. So I've never used, and I don't think I will use, the actual um, white, just the off-white, so I need another pink. And I think I need a lighter pink, so I'm going to go with that one. You've solved your cat's identity crisis. That's funny. My cat has never had an identity crisis. She's a shaded golden Persian. She has papers. Her registered name is Sophie Apricot Tart. Just to be funny. She's named after Sophia Petrillo and the Golden Girls. I like the Golden Girls. I grew up with it. Two, three, four, down, up. I think that's one too close. Sophie is totally a golden girl. She gets more and more like one every year as she gets older. She's going to be eight in March. So I guess in some ways I do kind of have a cat named Donut, but, you know, I don't call her that. <laughs> I just named her that for giggles because um, the registered cats, they all have these grandiose names like racehorses and stuff. And my mom names all hers after purses and purse designers and crap. And I was like, I'm going to name mine after a dessert. But she's, uh, she's definitely a golden girl. No, nope. Sophie was born in, I believe, 2008. She just acts old and cranky. Probably because she's an only child and she gets everything she wants because she tried to die on me. Are you keeping the three little kittens, Scorpion the Demon? 
Or are they going to be rehomed? This is three, two, one. Yes, my mother has a cat that is named Louis Vuitton. I think she might have gotten, not gotten rid of that, but I think she may have sold that one. But she did have one. What else was, she has Jimmy Choo. The one that was on camera in the video was uh, Diamond Jr. because she already had a diamond and I think that Diamond is his dad. I can't keep them all straight. like chocolate brown bow to work on. This one is a bit of a project. It'll be worth it, I think. Okay. I wonder if that red is supposed to be hot pink. I think it... Mm, that's orange. The light kind of glares off this and it's hard to tell. That does look more like hot pink than red. I'll fix it later. And let me go to this side. That's probably actually yellow, but here we go. Wait a minute, every one too long. Come on. Oh, I see. Okay, so this one is actually over one. Because the bow cuts into it. That's about it. <sighs> I haven't had chocolate since I started dieting and exercising, and I haven't really missed it until yesterday. Yesterday I was at the store and I'm like, ooh, chocolate. But I resisted.
All right, I'm going to move up to the top, actually. Let's do that. I'm going to do the collar a bit. Oh, this. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, four, five, seven, eight, nine. Same, sometimes they're different on the different sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Four of these, and then one there. Looks like I counted right. too high on that. Did I go up too, too high? Let me see. Nope, one too high. So it's got little frills and a little like lace up thing. It's really cute, I think. Everyone knows I have impeccable taste. Just kidding. I always think that one's a little, little bit dark for the skin color, but I don't know. Maybe it's because my, my girls are always pretty light, because I'm pretty light. I guess we really do fashion stuff after ourselves. <laughs> Impeccable taste confirmed. Thank you. side of it. Let's do the other side and then we'll get to the little lace up and then the giant bow and then we'll be mostly done. that up. So that side connects. This side, st this side does not connect. So let me erase. Try 
trying to trick me. Yes, I did. I added it too many. Here, that looks right. Okay. I should start opening up Kasen on uh, holidays again, letting people come over if anybody's still missing any of the Japanese items. two browns. So there's one. I don't need any black, so you can be a different color brown. Wait, what color? Do I actually want the bow that color? It's almost like a maroony brown, kind of like that. Oh, that's not really maroony brown, but... And then I need a really dark one. So we'll try this for now, see how it works. Oh, I didn't. There's just... it goes over here. Alright. One, two, three, one, two, three. I think we're good. Now... I think this is supposed to be a magenta. Not a red. Like, maybe not magenta, but something more like that. Why are you yelling at me? Sophie is standing in the corner, or in, in the doorway yelling at me. She's like a little vampire and you have to invite her in. And sometimes even after you invite her in, she just yells at you. Get daddy to give you stuff. I think she wants T-R-E-A-T-S's. Can't say that out loud.
I can't use Tumblr. I end up just like scrolling on things endlessly for hours. And I don't know how it happens, it just does every time. So I very, very rarely use it. If you want to contact me, that's probably the least likely place you'll get a response. I think she's confused because the lamp has moved. She's looking at where it was and like, why is it over there? but she meows like so quietly that like nothing comes out she's kind of shy <gasps> food okay I have lunch so I'm gonna take a little break from uh, designing for a minute and try and scarf my food so if anybody wants to chat I'll try not to talk while my mouth is full but I'm not gonna be doing anything for a moment Oh, Sophie totally is pretending to be Mikan Mi Kitty. She loves that box. I don't know why. Hey, Mood says hi, Sophie. We should say hi. Like, nope. Thank you. Bye, Corey. I can taste it. It's good. Sophie's concerned. Oh? I don't know. I think that the lamp moved. I'm thinking I should go get her some T-R-E-A-T-S's. Yeah. I think she's wondering about that. You want to describe your creation? Um... Uh, it was one of the recipes that came from her, uh... from her book. It's, uh, really simple. It's like, uh... A cup of brown rice, but a cup of rice is a lot, so I use about three quarters, two thirds of a cup ish, and uh, of brown rice. And then it called for a cup of spinach, so I cooked it down and squeezed the water out of it and cut it up. And then some black beans, but all we had was refried, so a half cup of refried black beans, and uh, about three ounces of chicken breast, salt, pepper. Cooked on both sides. Then, after I chopped everything up and put it together, I squeezed a little bit of lemon on it. Uh -uh, diet food. Mm. 
It actually isn't bad. Actually, if you stuff this in a burrito shell, it would be ultra good. Hi, Buzzy Bee. I'm still here. I'm taking a break from the dress and eating lunch, so nothing's going to move for a couple of minutes. And I'm trying not to chat with my mouth full, but so far failing. I guess it's a good thing I don't have a camera on while I eat. <laughs> you would see how she eats. Well, the worst is when I drink my little shake thing and like get it all over my face and the like, like crusty shake mouth. True story. Mm-hmm. And messy. But so far, this little dress is turning out pretty good. It's come a long way. I didn't think it would take this long, but... Mm. I might consider a live face stream. If I did that, I'd probably have to get rid of the fan art. So, there's that. Um, or make it really tiny. Or make it really tiny. Um, I don't know. I'd have to get like a green screen or something, probably. People like the... Uh... Or, well, yeah, I got a bookcase behind me. I have lots and lots of books. You just have lots and lots more, but no room. So yeah. you had to pare down. I took him to a used bookshop and ended up with like three hundred dollars in credit, four hundred, something like that. Um, but you know what? If my diet goes well, you should, you guys should encourage me, and I start to feel a little more self-confident, which so far so good. Um, then maybe I will. try and get to everybody's um, fan art before I before I do this but I know I have some that aren't on the page that I forgot to put up but I haven't gotten a new fan art in eons so but um, my little diet and exercise thing that I'm doing is 12 weeks long and today is the last day of week three so Next week I start week four, and I'm supposed to be, so the whole thing is, I did it on a whim. It's drop two sizes, it's supposed to be like drop two jean sizes. So, I tied on my favorite cords, corduroys, that no longer fit me, and it was very sad. So I have to try those on again tomorrow and see if they are fitting me any better. I don't think I've lost a lot of weight yet, but this is a strength training program, and I, my body has definitely put on muscle, and so there's stuff going on. I used to gym quite a bit when I was in my 20s, and uh, I took a look at the exercises that they were doing on the on the uh, video that like she was looking at, and like they are utterly legit. It's uh, kind of 
I don't want to say high impact, but it's uh, high movement rates combined with strength training. So it's not aerobics really by any means, but it's definitely like ramps up your heart rate and keeps it up, even though it's uh, even though you're building strength as well. So it's actually it looks pretty good, and it's uh, she's her she's changing a lot like already. So it's kind of cool. And I have to wait for my wound to heal before I can do any of this stuff. Yeah, he got sick and had to have his appendix out on day three of this. He was supposed to be doing it with me. And I would be. You were not ripped when you first met me in college? No. Hmm, no. He started working out after that. Alright, so I'm done eating. I have water. I am going to get back to this. Sorry for that interlude. No, but when he started, when we started dating, I was like a size 2. I was little teeny, I was doing yoga all the time, and I was very strong, and then... I got injured, I got older, and I let myself go. And I don't want to go out without kicking and screaming. I'm going to be 40 this year. So much for aging on him, Andy. Yep, so you guys are watching an old lady stream, or at least old dish. Three, four, five. Oh, he is pretty much doing the diet part, because when I when I cook stuff, he's uh he eats what I cook, and it's probably pretty good because we're eating really healthy while he's trying to heal. If you live with someone, you pretty much in there you start changing their diet. You have to change your diet with them, otherwise it's impossible for them to stick to what they're doing but I I'm really not very picky of an eater so I'm pretty much good with basically getting fed every once in a while I'm into it. that's supposed to be three not four but it's gonna be pink I'm just gonna do that for now yeah seriously rip appendix stupid thing Start thinking now. You have until August 16th to plan me a party. Just kidding. A -p -p party. Oh, here comes Sophs again. Marching into her carrier. She sleeps in her cat carrier. Most cats hate it. She thinks it's like one of the best things ever. Although once you take her to the VET in it, she avoids it for about three weeks. Okay, so now the pink part on the inside. I think goes something like this. All right, glare.
One there. Uh, I think there's one there. What, what are the dot dot dots for green carrots? I don't think I've ever eaten a green carrot. That's the bow. Oh, you're back. Welcome back. Now I just need to fill in the sides. Let me do this real quick and add yellow as needed. It does that. forgot the salsa. Ah, our rice bowl was supposed to have salsa. That's okay. It was just a little dry, but it was good. <laughs> so cute, sweetie Chew. Yep, I told you it'd be cute. It's just taking a while to look like anything. Here, there's another one here. That, that. And I just need a couple little dots. Oops, that's just blue. Not that anyone would notice. <laughs> it is candy nom nom. Alright, pink and blue. I think we're good. I'm moving over here. Oh, no. Okay. So guilty on my off days when I'm not exercising and like I need to be doing something rather than just sitting in front of the computer. Yep, August 16th. That will be D Day for me. done. We got little bows. We got a little lace up and a vest. <clears throat> I do have all the Wii Fit games and I have played them. Um, they're not all that exciting. On my days off I've been trying to do yoga. I downloaded a yoga program for my phone that syncs with the Fitbit, so I'll probably do that later. I've done that like on my off day because I exercise 
four days a week and then I have two days that are kind of supposed to be active but not doing the same things and then one day which is today that is supposed to be off off so that my body can recover but I think I'll probably end up trying to do a little bit of yoga I think that this is good I'm like watching it swirl mesmerize but I think I got everything in there so I'm gonna call it good and I think we will go to Carmen's house to model it Okay. Where do I get the- oh, there's the tilde. Well, that doesn't look like the right tilde. That looks like an American tilde. Oh well. I wonder... Kiko, does that have the right tilde? Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess we'll just use that. Because it's on my... It's a little slangy. supposed to be like sweet uh, frosting or something like that. It's whipped cream when I look it up in the dictionary, but I'm going to say frosting. Sweet frosting dress. Mm, let me print it out while I'm here. Oh, and I closed my book, but I'm going to want to look at their choices for accessories. Dun dun dun. Okay. Where are you, former BFF Carmen? It's like former BFF. I'm over here. She moved on me. She was my BFF before Bunny was my BFF, but I had her in City Folk and she just up and left and I could not get her to stay, so. She's my former BFF because she left me. All right, it has the dress paired with the little heart tights and the ballet shoes where are you ballet shoes and the cute little yellow hat where are you little yellow hat I think you're back the other way yep since I've been playing New Leaf I'm like anxious because I haven't talk to too many people um, and I'm worried that someone is gonna leave and hasn't pinged me because that's what happened a lot to me all right there's my outfit all right BFF Carmen I'm gonna change you into this too just because I can Although that shirt is perfect, it matches her ears. That one's pretty cute. We're twinsies! <laughs> She's like, screw you, I'm just gonna read my book here. Alright. Our house is too small. There's no place I can stand and get a good picture. Yeah, Yumi is not amused. Oops, I got it without the stars. That's still not so good.
Why is my hair so short? I don't know. So in my uh, my Japanese New Leaf game, uh, I have this character. Her name is Yumi as well. And I just settled on the little boy cut, the pixie cut, and I thought it was adorable. Um, I've, I've had a pixie cut in uh, real life with blonde hair, and it made me look like a little boy, but I don't know. I think she's cute with it. I can't really wear them myself, so I have to live vicariously. Alright, let me see if I can get her to stop reading. <laughs> no! Well, I guess that'll work. The dress is good enough to eat. Although, who eats a candy bar with a fork and a spoon? Um, Yumi means, um, it's the word for, uh, bow. Like, bow and arrow. So, I didn't know what to, what to name my character, and I just decided that, because it sounds kind of cute. And then Kasen, which is the name of my Japanese town. Although, it has several different words, or different meanings, depending on... Oh, what kanji you use? Uh, the meaning for my town is uh, fire arrow village kasen. So, kind of a weird little name, but you know, Doomsayer's town is Jisuna, which is blood sands, so it could have been worse. <laughs> but I have the coolest flag. You do have a cool flag. Alright, I'm gonna call that good for this. Oops, I don't want to invite people over. No! I'm just gonna leave that. I, it's, it's making me think I should redo her house sometime in the near future, though, because it's too small. exported that. I exported the other one. I think I'm done for now. Um, I'm gonna go post both of these on Twitter, so if you'd like to wear them in whichever newly foreign happy home designer, feel free to come by and grab them. Uh, my Twitter link is uh, below in my info. So that's all I got. I'm back tomorrow, um, Monday through Friday, but I won't be here Wednesday because I have, well, Doomsayer has a doctor's appointment. Um, for, uh, starting at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard, going till whenever, and that's about all I got for now. Uh, yep. Thanks for watching. I had a lot of fun making dresses with you guys, and I hope you stop by again whenever I decide to do this, usually on the weekends. So, have a great rest of your Sunday, have a great time zone, hope to see you soon, and bye for now.